Hi there, this is John and welcome to Sync Apps by Kazumi. In this video today, we'll talk about how Constant Contact for Salesforce works using Sync Apps. This integration will help you eliminate the manual imports and exports as we do those automatically for you on a scheduled or manual basis based on your preference. Next is for the contacts, leads and accounts management. Whatever updates from Salesforce, we will always sync those to Constant Contact. For the list management, for the contacts and leads, you can use a pane, list view, or some sort of a custom field so that you can segment them into list and constant contact for targeted campaigns or you know you can place them into buckets for future purposes. Next is that if they unsubscribe from constant contact, we will automatically tick the email opt-out checkbox in Salesforce by default. And once that happens, we will no longer, you know, update or touch the records because, you know, it has opted out from content content. Right, this one here. Next is that if you're sending regular campaigns in constant contact, we can also sync the analytics like those opens, clicks, and bounces back to Salesforce for your sales and CRM team to see the engagements, you know, from those constant contact newsletters or campaigns. Next is you can also, you know, map those custom fields. For example, if you want to map the lead source, the department, the title, or other custom fields from Salesforce to Constant Contact or even vice versa, you can do that in our field mapping feature in step four of the setup. All right, let me show you how the setup works in Sync Apps. So you'll just need to click this, the create setup or tap the setups. Next is name your, you know, setup based on your preference and select Salesforce and Constant Contact. Right, so in a setup, there are six steps. So the first part is for the Salesforce or the CRM. So just make sure that your Salesforce is API enabled so that we can be able to integrate Salesforce and Constant Contact using Sync Apps. So to check if your Salesforce is API enabled, if you're on their professional edition, then you might need to reach out to your Salesforce account rep so that you need to um, you can purchase their web service API for the integration. But if you're on their you know enterprise edition, then you're all good with it because it's already API enabled. Next is if you want to use the Salesforce sandbox for testing, you can just click or tap this one here and then click the connect button so that we can integrate using the sandbox account. But if you prefer to use the production account for testing, you can just, you know, connect here. Next is select the object type to sync. So if you want to sync the contacts, leads, and accounts, then you will need to create three separate setups for it because per setup, we can only sync one object type. And this instance, we will use or select contact as the object type to sync. Okay, so on this part here, if you're not using any segmentation feature in Sync Apps, then this means that we will sync all your Salesforce contacts with email address with them to Constant Contact, your specified name list. So for the purpose of this demo, the best practice is by using a Salesforce campaign or list view so that first, you can only limit the number of contacts or leads that will be syncing over to Constant Contact. And the second benefit of this feature is that we can also create it as an email list in Constant Contact. So let me give you an example here. Okay, so for example, I selected this uh, Salesforce campaign here. Then what happens when we run the sync is that this will be created as an email list in Constant Contact together with the campaign members in it. Okay, so for the Salesforce campaign, just make sure that it is marked as active so that it will be available as one of the options for syncing here. So if you're using the list views, you can just use the list view feature here. Right, so the next, you know, top features that our subscribers are, you know, loving today is that the campaign response feature or syncing back the analytics like those opens, clicks and bounces back to Salesforce. So as you can see here, there are several options. So the first one is create Salesforce campaign. 
So by the way, for the create Salesforce campaign, the campaign plus activity and bring back marketing metrics only, you will need to, you know, to set up the campaign page layout. So don't worry about it because I'll post the link on the description box below. Right, so for the create Salesforce campaign, for example, you're sending a campaign to the specified main list in constant contact. What will happen is that we will create that campaign, that I mean that constant contact campaign into a Salesforce campaign with the same name, right? So when I open that one, you can then see the the newsletter template as an HTML file here. And then you can then see the recipients under campaign members. Then you can then see who opened, clicked, or bounced from the email. So let me open, you know, a contact that opened the email. Okay, so on the contact level, you can also see the responses under the campaign history. So let me show you that one here. Campaign history. Okay. So just make sure that you've added the campaign history under the related list, under campaign layout, I mean, the contact page layout so that you can see the view here, like the campaign name, the opens, clicks, and bounces. All right, so for the next campaign response sync mode, which is the create activity, this will sync the responses directly to the lead or contact level in Salesforce. For example, for this specific contact, right? So you can see the the responses under the activity history or activity timeline. And when you click this one, the details will be shown like this one here, right? So for the next, the third option, which is the campaign plus activity, this will create a Salesforce campaign at the same time activity on the contact lead and campaign level. Right, so the third one or the fourth one is the create contact or lead note. So if you don't have any campaign objects supported in your Salesforce, you know, built in Salesforce, you know, app, like Apto and among others, you can use the create activity or contact lead notes. So it will look like this. So let me open a contact as an example. Just make sure that you have the notes and attachments on your contact or lead page layout so that we can attach the responses like this one here. Right, and lastly is the bring back marketing metrics only. This is the same with this great Salesforce campaign, but the difference is just that for the bring back marketing metrics only, this will uh, we will bring the the uh, the total number of opens, clicks, and bounces to the campaign in Salesforce. So, for example, let me open another another Salesforce campaign here. Okay. Under details and then you can then see the number of opens clicks bounces and sends here so just make sure that you have added these you know number fields on the campaign page layout in Salesforce and map them in step 4 of the integration setup under the campaign step right so other features here are optional so if you want to know more about each feature, you can just hover over to the signal tooltip and the information will be shown on the right hand panel of the screen. If you want to discuss about your use cases, you can always reach out to us through support at kazuma.com or you can book a demo so that you know we can discuss further with our sales engineering team. Once you're done in step one, just click the next step. Right, so in step two of the integration setup is for the constant contact. So as you can see here, there are two versions that we support, the version two and version three API. So the difference is just that the custom fields. So in the version two API, we can only support up until 15 custom fields. I mean, the version two API only supports 15 custom fields. And the naming convention of the fields for mapping in step four is like custom field 01, 02, and so on. But compared to version 3 API, um, you can map up until 25 custom fields, including the birthday and anniversary fields. And you can also see the field labels, you know, to, you know, to reduce the confusion for mapping. Right, so 
The suggested version for connecting here is version 3 API. Then click connect, enter the main list. So we will need the main list mainly for updating the records through its API. For more information on how the main list work, you can uh, you know hover to the signal tooltip right here. So first is you can you know place an existing name in constant contact, I mean list name here, so that we can just connect to it. Or the second you know option is you can just enter a new list name here because once the synchronous and sync apps we will create that new list name in constant contact as the main list for this integration. And then we will sync the records from Salesforce to this specified main list here. And for the constant contact unsubscribes to Salesforce, you don't need to enable anything here because that is automatically managed by us. So if you're using another custom field or custom opt out field in Salesforce, uh, that's another feature. So you can just reach out to us anytime. If you need more help in setting up right so other features here are optional right so just click the next step right so in step three of the integration setup this is mainly for you know these are the add-ons so um, most of the add-ons are optional so if you're on the free plan then uh, if you only want to you know to have those a la carte add-ons you can subscribe to each of those Right, so in step four of the integration setup, these are you know mainly for you know mirroring out or field mapping those fields from Salesforce to constant contact or even vice versa. For example, if you want to map over the uh, let me look for a field here for a contact owner like that. So if you want that to be reflected on the contact information in constant contact, then you'll just need to map it here. And if you don't have that you know, field here in constant contact, you might need to create those fields first and then head back here in sync apps, tap the refresh fields icon so that the newly created field will be available for mapping here. Right. So in step five of the integration setup, this is for the filter and segmentation. This is if if you're not, you know, if you're not using any list uh, list view in step one or campaigns for you know segmenting them it's different list or if your use case is you know you're uh, filtering out based on some sort of criteria so let me give you an example here okay so i've enabled filtering and segmentation from salesforce to constant contact don't forget to enter the you know the list name or the segment name because this will be created as an email list in constant contact list a Right, so this will be the name that will be created by Sync Apps in, in Constant Contact, together with the records that will you know match the filters here. So this means that all the contact in Salesforce with the contact owner John will be synced to this list in Constant Contact. Okay, so if you want to add more segments or lists in Constant Contact, then you can just add, you know, click this add a new segment here. Right, from filtering out from constant contact to Salesforce, there are two typical use cases. So the first one is that if you're syncing all your Salesforce or constant contact contacts to Salesforce with specific field criteria, you'll just need to enable this feature in step two, sync all active contacts, not just on the specified constant contact main list, in tandem with this feature in step five, which is enable filter from constant contact to Salesforce. So just enter the criteria. So for example, you want to use the job title. You only want to uh, select, for example, those um, brokers like that. So all the constant contact uh, brokers job title will be synced to Salesforce as long as they do have an email address. The second use case is that if you're doing or if you have those landing pages or sign up forms, right? and um, for example you have those web source or lead source field here so you can just use that one and enter the you know the verbatim field value of it so that sync apps can be able to pull those from constant contact back to salesforce if the email address does not exist yet the last step is sync scheduling so this is where you're going to decide on how often would you like to run the sync so for example um, you want to run it like once a day, just place 24 there, ok? 
okay? Because once you leave this blank here, then that means that you'll need to run the sync manually. But if you want to run the sync in real time, the best practice is every two minutes. Okay. So for the f first one here, want to migrate records based on specific date criteria. This means that we will only sync the records starting from the, you know, the specified integration start date till today, like that. For example, I specified like October 1st. This means that only the contacts created since October 1st will be synced to constant contact and from constant contact back to Salesforce as well. Okay, so next is always run campaign response sync on every sync. So this means that because in sync apps, for us to retrieve those opens, clicks, and bounces from your constant constant campaigns back to Salesforce, we will only do those once a day to prevent the, you know, to not exceed the API limit in Salesforce. Because once it exceeds the API limit in Salesforce, uh, it will air out here in sync apps and then it will pause the integration for a while, probably around 24 hours up until the you know the api limit in salesforce is refreshed okay so once you're done here just click the finish button then it will lead you here on this integration page or the setup page just click the sync now then the integration will run based on the scheduled fixed interval okay so if you want to know more about the pricing or how it works or what subscription plan you know uh, meets your needs based on your flow you can always reach out to us through support at kazumi.com or you can book a call so that we can help you to which subscription plan is best for your integration needs all right so this has been john with kazumi and thank you for your time today